Welcome back to another edition of the First and Short Podcast with JJ and the Goose. I'm the Goose, and tonight we're going to be discussing the Dallas Cowboys and the Chicago Bears Monday night matchup. JJ, what are you thinking, man? Well, we got a pair of two and one teams coming into the Jerry Dome. It's going to be interesting. The line is even, so therefore the people in Vegas think the Bears are three points better than the Cowboys. Personally, Romo is coming off his worst week of the year after getting everybody thinking maybe he was going to turn it around. But, you know, I, I like this Cowboys team. They didn't show up at Seattle two weeks ago, but they got a win over a Tampa team that was 1-1 one and one coming in. They beat the Giants at the beginning of the year, which kind of surprised everybody. And I personally think they'll take down Cutler and the Bears. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a low-scoring affair. I've actually, I've really been impressed by the Cowboys' defense. Last year, their secondary was out of whack, but they've made some adjustments. I really like Morris Claiborne, uh, their first-round draft pick. And I actually, I think Chicago's defense is really good as well. I know they lost last week, uh, actually not two weeks ago now, to the Green Bay Packers. But if you watch that game closely, they, only, they held the Packers to one touchdown drive, uh, a long, sustained drive from the offense. And they completely shut down Sam Bradford in the Rams last week. I realize the Rams aren't great, but still, I mean, Sam Bradford's a fairly accomplished three-year quarterback. <laughs> I think the interesting matchup for me is the quarterbacks. You've got Jay Cutler and Tony, Tony Romo, two guys who are both uh, talented quarterbacks. I think most people would say they're in the upper half of starting quarterbacks in the league, but both are star-crossed and they're winning ability is uh, is under fire and their clutchness and their team leadership and intangibles uh, things that I, I personally find to be overrated um, come under fire quite a bit from the national media so we get an opportunity to see those guys have at it things to look for DeMarco Murray has only got 213 yards on the season which I find disappointing as I imagine most of his fantasy owners do uh, this guy is just a ball of talent and really should be doing better than he is. I don't know if that's an offensive line thing or they're not getting him enough uh, touches, uh, but I really would like to see him start to break out a little bit more, uh, get some big plays. Also, only one touchdown, too. The other thing is their rookie receiver, you know, Des Bryant, the one they're currently babysitting, you know, isn't really showing up in the stat sheet much either. He's not even, you know, miles off this. Miles Austin and Kevin Ogletree both have more receiving yards than he does, which isn't a good sign as far as I'm concerned for first-round draft picks. No, and what's interesting here, so the Bears are going to come in at the 28th best passing offense in the league, and they're going to have to face against the Cowboys, who have the second best passing defense in the league. So I don't think Cutler's going to be able to move the ball. But on the flip side, you were just talking about it. Why haven't the Cowboys been able to run the football? You've got DeMarco Murray. I think part of the problem is because Tony Romo has been hit or miss, and if they can't open things up with a passing game to Des Bryant, then there's no room for DeMarco Murray to run. Mm, interesting. And another thing um, that's hurting the Bears and kind of really makes me question that spread more than I think about it is the, uh, the Matt Forte situation. Um, he's going to be questionable in this game, and uh, you know I, I, I just don't know that you're going to count on him to play, and even if he does play, he's not going to be super effective, which means the rushing duties will go to Mike, Michael Bush, who, to his credit, he is a, he's a fair backup, but you know, Matt Forte, when he's healthy, carries the load for this team. I mean, he is, you know, probably accounts for a solid third of their total offense in both the rushing and the receiving game. Uh, I, if, you're, if you're one who likes to gamble against the spread, um, I really like the Cowboys in this game. So you think the Cowboys will win tonight? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know that, again, playing at home, uh, you know, Forte, questionable. you got to think DeMarco Murray is going to bust out. And, you know, Jay Cutler, that they, they can't protect him. And on the other side, you got DeMarcus Ware, you know, the, the active leader in, in sacks and the guy who gets, you know, 18 to 20 a year, it seems. I, I certainly like the, the Cowboys in this game. You know, uh, well, I'm going to go out on a Wednesday I'm, tonight. I'm going to say Alshon Jeffrey has a big game opposite Brandon Marshall. I think I don't think Cutler will throw for a ton of yards, but I think Jeffrey's going to be on the receiving end there. So you going with the Bears tonight? I'm going to go with the Bears tonight. I just think 
I just think that they're going to come out with it. I don't know. I think either you're going to see Cutler have a big game or you're going to see Bush have a big game. But the Cowboys haven't haven't blown me away. I mean, we saw Seattle take out Green Bay, but Seattle blasted the Cowboys. The Cowboys were not competitive in that game. And it was pretty embarrassing for wow. that organization. And then they came back and they beat a Tampa team who's, who's not very good. Tampa, Tampa and Josh Freeman... Somewhere in there. I would but they, just, they cannot. But the Cowboys cannot score the ball. They cannot score. I would counter that with the fact that the Bears' two wins come against the Colts and the Rams, both of which I would say are in the bottom third of the league. In fact, and I would agree with that. Might be even worse than that. And uh, they lost to Green Bay. It was only a 13-point game, but it was dominated by by Green Bay. And the, as you say, that the, um, the Cowboys can't score. Uh, the Bears aren't very good at scoring against good teams. Now, they, they put up 41 against the Colts, but I, I don't consider that to be a very good team. I think the Cowboys' road victory against New York and, and a tight, close, contested game against Tampa Bay are, are more impressive wins than what we've seen from the Bears so far. And again, when in doubt, go to the home team, especially when it's a pick 'em. I mean, that's I really I, I cannot emphasize enough how um, how bizarre that that spread is to me. Well, it'll probably swing throughout the weekend as more bets are placed on it. But Jay Cutler, he's not... No one says Jay Cutler, proven winner. But then again, you look at Tony Romo, and he's had the same problem. So you've got two quarterbacks who are really in the same boat here. And, but uh, I, I just personally think the Bears are going to come out on top. All right, well, uh, I've got the Cowboys tonight. You've got the Bears. We'll see what happens. For JJ, I'm the Goose. Thanks again for listening to the First and Short podcast. If you like what you hear... Tell a friend. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Later.